All right, welcome back. Going to start up some uh, tutorials again. Uh, starting off with something super simple. Uh, we're going to use the third person template uh, for this. And what we're going to do is just transform this uh, RPG type movement, you know, free camera, camera spin, all that, into something more like a third person shooter, since that's what uh, we're going to be working with later on. So I'm going to open up my third person character, and I've got a clone of this to work on right now. Uh, and first thing we're going to do, we're just going to go to the viewport and we're just going to immediately change our third person character test uh, over in the pawn section of our details we want to use controller rotation yeah. and immediately that'll just give us more of a defined uh, control of that so there's the strafing control, there's no more free moving uh, the camera controls his look direction so immediately we're already off to a good start uh, a couple more things we'll need to do and uh, we should be good after that so one of the things we're gonna do is before I even open this up actually I'm gonna drop this down into my level and what we're gonna do is with it selected we're gonna pin down this viewport so we can kinda get this more over-the-shoulder camera going on for us uh, and what we want to do then is once that's there we're gonna open this up uh, go into our viewports and I'm actually just gonna snap this to my left side really quick uh, and then I'm just going to, in this viewport here, uh, start moving this camera uh, where I want it to be. Uh, we can also change the spring arm length to get it a little closer so it's more over the shoulder. And then just start tilting it up like so. And once we hit save, we have this over the shoulder view just like we need. Uh, we're aiming around. Everything is good to go, it looks like. Uh, next what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start spawning a projectile to kind of test how that uh, shooting function will work. So if you have a blueprints folder, please uh, navigate to that and use that. Uh, I've already done this once also again, so I'm just going to make a new blueprint class using an actor. And uh, I'm just going to call this third person bullet. Alright, we'll open that up and we're going to want to add a static mesh, which will be our projectile visual. Rename mine to bullet. And then I'm also going to add the important part of this is going to be a projectile movement. So the projectile movement is the important thing for this to behave like a projectile. Uh, and this bullet's just going to be the visual representation of that. So the static mesh, I'm just going to go find uh, a cone rotate this down so it's facing forward and then scale it down some now our projectile movement uh, is really where we change things to get our speed settings and gravity and all that so in projectile movement I'm going to set our initial speed to uh, just to start something like 5000 uh, you'll see that's pretty slow for an actual bullet if you wanted to use it in game like that and I'm gonna set the max speed to 6000 uh, so later if we add any physics stuff and it changes the velocity, it can actually change the velocity to be faster in a different direction. Uh, and that's all we need to set up for now, so I'm just going to hit compile on that and save. Uh, now let's actually start spawning this bullet within our character. So I'm going to go over to our blue, uh, third person blueprints once again, open up our third person character, and this time we want to stick around to the event graph. Uh, and I'm going to do this with a left mouse click. Uh, if you're using the third person template there may be an input action fire if you're going that route I honestly don't remember it's been a long time uh, but so this way I'm just gonna type in here left mouse button and just get that event that way uh, maybe another tutorial or if you've already looked one up you know how to set up input actions using the editor settings so if you've got that set up that's just fine uh, but on this press uh, what we want to do is we want to spawn that projectile. So we're going to use a spawn actor from class. Uh, and right now it says none, and we're just going to hook this up. And now if we try to hit compile, we're going to get a couple of errors. So we compile, and it'll say we have no class specified. Uh, so we're going to drop that down, and we want that to be this third-person bullet that we just made. Uh, and next we're going to need to set where it's spawning from as well as its uh, rotation so that it knows you know which direction to fire uh, so for that I'm just going to get this actor location so we're getting our pawns actor location 
Uh, and we can do some simple math to kind of offset that. Uh, if you actually have a weapon in your game, you can use your socket location as well as any other rotation you need. But just for simplicity's sake, we're using this. Uh, and for the rotation, we're going to actually go ahead and drag our camera out here. Uh, so you can do that by holding control to get the get node, or you can just drag it out and then use the follow camera get. And off of this, we're going to use a get rotation. Uh, because we wanted to shoot where our camera's looking, not uh, essentially where our actor is, because our actor doesn't actually face up or down. That's our camera doing that. Uh, and off of this spawn transform for our spawn actor, we're just going to drag off of this and use this make transform. And we're going to plug the actor location into the location and this camera rotation into rotation. Uh, once we get that going, we're going to hit compile, save. Now we're going to go into our game, and when we click, we're actually firing a bullet uh, where the camera is looking right now. So, something super simple to ease people back into the swing of things. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Later on, we'll be doing a lot more throughout this semester. Uh, we'll be setting up some grenades and maybe going over some demolition stuff and lots of physics stuff so stick around for all those and everyone have a good evening